So in this final video, we're going to go over what if you need to move your saw. What if you want to play your exercises and songs starting from a different note than C, as we've been doing. So this will come up if you have a lower voice or a higher voice, and so you're more inclined to sing in a lower or a higher key. And also if you are playing with other musicians, Often, if you're playing with somebody who is sharing their songs, they're not going to be in your key. So you'll have to, you know, they're like, oh, can you play this song with me? It's in D. Like, oh, well, I'm only playing C. So it's, it's good to be familiar with other saws. And here I'm using sa and key as roughly equivalent. The key, that's the Western music concept. Um, a song not only has chords that go along, but then there's a more overarching concept called the key that all the chords are related to. Um, and so generally, when we've been going through these songs, uh, we've been singing in the key of C, that C note. Some of the chords are C chords, some of the chords are different chords, but they all pertain to C, and so they're said to be in the key of C. And then with, with Sa, you know, we begin with Sa. And so if we've placed Sa at C, then we're singing our sargon in the key of C. So these two concepts are, are similar. There is, there is differences, but they're roughly equivalent for our purposes. So sometimes if you're playing with other people, they'll bring up a song of theirs that's in a different key. And so if it's a song in the key of G, you want to be able to find, okay, well, if G is my sa, now what's the scale? Or if G is my sa, and it's basically a one chord and a four chord in this piece, where are those two chords in the key of G? Thank you.